Olama is a tool that allows you to run LLMs locally on your own machine, aka your laptop or desktop or whatever home-built device you want to run these models on. Yes, while Llama ecosystem models tend not to be as large as, say, frontier models like GPT-4.0 or Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, you'll be surprised to hear that for many use cases, they are actually on par due to how much data these Llama models have been trained on. The real benefit of using these Llama models, however, has nothing to do with benchmarks, but has more to do with the fact that you can audit with 100% certainty that the model weights are not changing and that your interactions with them are kept completely private. To download and install Olama, come over to olama.com click the download button and download the appropriate version for your OS. For me, this is Mac OS. From this point forward, I'm just going to show you how I did this on my Mac. So I click the download for Mac OS button and it downloaded this zip file. So after you have that downloaded, you unzip the zip file and drag the resulting application into your applications folder. Then you launch the Olama application, and accept all of the permission dialogues, and then you'll be presented with this little wizard. Click Next, click Install. I have to put in my account password, and click Finish, and that's it. Then should be able to type Olama B on the command line and see the Olama client version printed out. Also note how we can start and stop Olama via this Llama icon in the menu bar. To start Olama, you launch it just like you would launch any other application. When Olama is running, you should see this little Llama icon in your menu bar. As Olama is a command line tool, you'll need to pop open a shell to use it. Here's an overview of some of Olama's commands. I hope you find these intuitive. In regards to the model IDs, I personally love this table on the Olama GitHub repo that shows some of the more used models that people like to run along with their IDs. It's not of particular relevance to this video, but just know that the full list of models that Olama supports stretches well into the hundreds and even includes models from outside of Llama's ecosystem. But anyways, focus. To keep things light, we will run one of the smallest models that Olama offers, that being Llama 3.2 1B Instruct FP16. The 3.2 tells us the family of models it was released with. The 1B tells us the amount of parameters that the model has. The Instruct tells us that the model was fine-tuned for performing instructions. And the FP16 does get a bit technical, but tells us that when the model generates text, the internal calculations are performed using numbers with up to four decimal places. If I'm wrong about this FP16 detail, please leave a comment. You can think of the number of parameters as a rough indication of how many simulated brain cells a model has. The more parameters or brain cells, then the smarter the model will be, assuming it's been trained on a sufficient amount of data, that is. I don't want to get bogged down in excessive detail, but what I'm trying to highlight here is that depending on training details, a smaller model can outperform a larger one in certain cases. If you're interested in learning more about how AI training works, I suggest watching this video entitled, What is PyTorch? The Unofficial Movie? or researching topics like neural networks and backpropagation as a starting point. To use a particular model with Olama, enter the Olama run command followed by the model's ID. As a rough guideline, you'll need about eight gigs of RAM for running models with about seven billion parameters, about 16 gigs of RAM for running models with about 13 billion parameters, and about 32 gigs of RAM for running models with about 33 billion parameters. The model we're using in this video only has one billion parameters, so it should work on just about any computer. Olama supports interactive sessions with the models you run. And also in the background serves an API. To see the logs of the Olama API, open up a new terminal and type this command, tail-f followed by the path to the Olama server logs. And move this over here like this. And back in the original terminal, we can curl the Olama API by closing this interactive session and sending curl statements like so. There are other ways to use Olama, so feel free to experiment, but hopefully this gives you a great gist of how it works.